Channel. It is officially 2019 and I thought that it's a new year which means new makeup and new skincare So I thought why not rate and go through all of the products that can go in the trash and things that can stay in 2018 So I've got a big bunch of skincare and makeup to go through So before I get into anything disclaimer This is obviously all my own opinion and all these products are things that I have tried and they're things that just haven't worked for me or my skin Obviously everyone is so different and everyone has different skin types So just keep in mind when I'm going through this video. So let's start with skincare So this company called yes to tomatoes came out and they came out with this full skincare range and I Mean I didn't want to waste it. So I used pretty much all of it. However on the packet it says to purify your skin now I thought when it said that, that it meant things like with acne because it really didn't give much on the back of the box any, like on the back of the bottle. It didn't really specifically say what it targets. It just says to detoxify your skin. That's literally all that says. And how to use the product. I feel like it shrunk my pores, but it didn't help with anything else. You can go straight into the bin. Okay, next was from Dermalogica. They came out with this clear start range, <laughs> I guess you can call it. I grabbed the travel kit just to try. And I love the hydrating lotion that is completely empty. Um, however, it came with a facial wash as well. I used that too. I didn't really see much results, but the actual one that kind of had me a bit like, oh, that sucks, was the Breakout Cleaning Booster. Now, it basically says that it's targeted for breakouts and will help bacteria, blah, 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 blah. And I thought it would, and it says like on the instructions, like make sure you just put a thin layer of, around like the prone to acne area, which I thought it was going to be like the Mario Badesco spot treatment. It didn't work. I used it for a solid week and I saw no no difference except it dried out my skin. So, no thank you. Next one is from Latan. Now, I have been using Latan for the past couple of years. However, I found a love for Saint Tropez self tanning and it I feel like I get such a quicker result um, from spending that little bit more. So, it lasts longer. <laughs> so, sorry Latan. Now, on to makeup. Let's start with palettes. Um, Australis came out with this neutralized palette. And don't get me wrong, the colors are really pretty and everything like that and whatever. I was kind of bummed because it has like foil shadows and shimmers and everything like that, but there's no mattes. Like there are no mattes. Like all these dark colors down here look matte, but if you look at them up close, they're actually all shimmery. And I feel like that sucked because I couldn't use any for a transition color. Don't get me wrong, I'm not just gonna throw it in the bin because that's a waste of money. So I might just give it to my mum or a friend. Um, and another palette also is the Take Me To Brazil palette by BH Cosmetics. And it's really pretty, don't get me wrong. However, they're not really pigmented. I don't really get much from them. Um, you have to obviously go in a couple times to really get that colour payoff. So, you know, I'm still going to obviously use it because I'm not going to waste it. It'll be good to have in my kit so I don't have to keep going back and forth between my own personal stuff. Um, it's just obviously it takes that little bit more to pack on the colour. And I mean, the price is good, so you know but obviously it's not one of my favorites from this year um another one is from maybelline and it's their super matte ink lipstick now i have two colors i have seductress and another one i'm not too sure what the shade is called but it is like a more pinky toned color um and for the purpose of this video i kept this one the other one i gave away and don't get me wrong i love the color and i love the applicator i think it's such a good size applicator especially to get into the corners of your lips um it's just I'm not a gloss girl, I'm very much a matte girl, whether it's a matte lipstick or a liquid lipstick. And I found that when putting this on my lips, it took forever to dry down. Um, like I'm wearing the Huda Beauty one and it's not gonna budge all night, even when I go out to dinner tonight. Yeah, no, sorry Maybelline. And another one from Maybelline is, I'm really sorry, but it's not the greatest, is the Gigi Hadid Microfiber Mascara. I bought it because I thought, oh yeah, the hype, you know, I was like, I really wanna try it. Like it looks really cool. and. As I was trying it, I really hated it because these fibers actually came off in clumps. You can't really see it now, but like as I was using it, because I did use it a few times, it would come off really clumpy and the fibers would get all stuck and dry pretty much instantly onto my lash and then it would be so hard to try and like work it off. Um, another one is from Tarte and this is the Tarteus Pro Glow. Um, it is a liquid highlighter. Now when I first tested it in Sephora, I obviously didn't get enough, give it enough of a try. 
because like this it looks really pretty and as you start to rub it you think oh yeah really really like blinding but the more you rub it into your actual skin and you blend it it actually just becomes more of like a shimmer it'd be a lot better if you're doing like a really dewy look or um like a bride or something like that however i love blinding highlights so that was definitely a no-go for me um and my last two products is one is from Smashbox and it's the Photo Finish Primer. Now it says it's meant to moisturize your skin as well as prime. Now for me, I'm a combination skin, skin type, and I found that it actually dried out my skin that little bit more. So I do still use it. I use it on clients depending on their skin type, but I'm just not one that I reach for anymore. So, and finally, the last one is the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation. Now I don't know if it was the girl at Mecca Maxima that kind of stuffed up and just tested me wrong or what but I'm a yellow undertone girl and after wearing this for a couple of days oh my god my skin was so oily and I'm combination skin and it was so oxidized it was so freaking orange like it looked so bad so that's the end of the video let me know if any of these products didn't work for you either or other products that didn't work for you in 2018 i'm kind of glad to see them gone in 2018 and i'm excited to see what comes out in 2019 for skincare and makeup so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and i'll see you in our next video